Yo, what is up? Today I'm going to show you guys how to get PCX2 running on Legion Go. It is a PC emulator. Um, I can't show you where to get the BIOS, but you are going to just have to look that up. Look up P PS2 BIOS download, and that's it. PCX2 BIOS. That should help you. Um, find it, download it. Once you got it, come back to the video, and we will get set up. Um... Home page. We're gonna go for the nightly build. I'm gonna go ahead and download it. Uh, might do this. I, I noticed this happens to me quite often, um, but just let it load, let it do its thing. Jesus Christ. While that's going on, um, go to your downloads, you're gonna go to your bios, and you're gonna go ahead and extract it. I use, what's this called? Breeze Zip. If, if you don't have an extractor already, Breeze Zip is like my go to. It's like my favorite. Uh, go ahead, extract. And let that go. Let that go. Our PC is ready. We're going to open it up and we're going to also extract this. Close everything out. You could go ahead and delete your old zip files. It should be labeled like this if you have uh, the Breeze zip. If not, um, you, could, you could just look at the folder. It has a zipper if it doesn't have a zipper. But if it does have a zipper, go ahead, delete it. I'm going to delete these so we don't need those anymore. And let's get into the PCX2. We're going to go to Qt application. Double click that. Um, that was one, man, you know what, I don't think it's going to separate mine, but I'll still show you how to get, yours is not going to look like this, it's going to say in the middle, add game directory, I just downloaded a new one, I don't know why it just poured it over, but what we want to do is go to our settings, go to BIOS, Browse, go to the BIOS folder that you now have, PlayStation 2 BIOS. You'll select it, select folder, and it's going to load up like that. You will select your region, mine's America. Next, we need to go to emulation. Uh, I don't think I changed any settings here. Actually, I did turn on enable cheats. Graphics tab, uh, borderless full screen fit to window full screen anti-blur v-sync actually you'd want that on when you go to adapter this is going to ask like what graphics card you want to do make sure you select your amd next we're going to go to rendering tab i have mine set up at three times 1080 you could change it up to you how you want to go about it the filtering change it to 16 times and i think that's it here our audio, no changes were made. Memory card, uh, when you first boot up, it's gonna say you don't have a memory card. What we're gonna do is create. Always go with the 32. Anything over 32 just makes uh, slower, like not downloads, but gameplay and like loading times. So you'll select 32, you're gonna name it, whatever you wanna name it, like mem. Uh, we're gonna click okay. And then you're gonna wanna drag it into the first slot. I'm not gonna drag it because I already have mine there, but you could do it for both so you don't have to worry about it later. Make a 32 for each, drag it there, and that's it, you're done. We could go ahead, close that out, and we're gonna go, it's also gonna ask you down here is add your game directory. Uh, you will open it, and then you're gonna select wherever you have your games, like mine, Hmm, yeah, it's not gonna show me it, but it that one's very simple. Add game directly, directory, 
and select the folder that you have like so mine was like pc x2 games that's what you would do if you have any like difficulty in that section let me know i can help you out tools not tools where is controller here we go so what worked for me was go to your controller part uh, port one right here in the right corner you're gonna click uh sdl auto mapping sdl once you've selected that close that close the whole game out shut down your legion go so that it will register i just helped someone out setting this up and his controls weren't working and he finally shut it completely down rebooted and his controls were back and running now what i did on um your game files are not gonna like have images um, but if you want images, all you need to do is just right click the game and it should say set cover image, cover image. Um, I just went on the internet, looked up the, the games that I had and the covers, and then that's really it. I created a folder called uh, game uh, cover art and I just saved it and put all my you know cover art in there. You could go ahead, select what you need and then click open and proceed on. Um, that's really it. PCX2 was pretty simple to set up. Um, I think it starts in full screen if you selected the full screen option. And that's really it on how to set it up. Uh, if, if I did miss anything or if I was talking too fast, I'm so sorry. But let's, let me know in the comments if you need any help with anything. I could help you out. I got you. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.